my beloved brothers and sisters, I am coming to you today with a dream. I am coming to you today with a message to repent because time is so short. This dream is very urgent and it is very crucial. It is very vital that this is released, that the Lord has been pressing on my heart to release this dream because when I first received it, I didn't know what to do. I've been paralyzed with this dream. And so the Lord spoke to me and he said, you need to release this. And guys, I'm coming to you today with this urgent dream that the Lord has given me. The dream starts off, I'm in the house that I lived in before and I'm in the backyard. Uh, I was having a bonfire. And so as I'm having this bonfire, I get a call from my sister. And uh, as she calls me, she goes, Cameron, uh, I'm, I'm hearing a preacher right now and he's telling everybody to repent. Uh, hell is real. He's saying, repent, repent. And so I, I'm hearing it on the phone with her. And so I'm like, whoa, that video, that sounds crazy. And so as we're speaking about the topics that the preacher is discussing, out of thick clouds, out of thick clouds, the moon appears so fast. It's like clouds, moon, it appears crystal white moon. And as I'm looking at it, I'm like, whoa, whoa. Like, I'm like, I'm like, pause that video. I'm like, I'm about to call you back, pause the video. And so as I get off the phone with her, I go and I grab my telescope because I'm like, I need to zoom it in. Like, this is a crazy shot right now. Like I need to, I'm actually seeing this. And the moon was so close, mind you, the moon was so close. And so as I go and I grab my telescope and I point it at the moon, the moon looked very distorted. The craters on the moon looked very distorted. And as I'm looking at it, I had a frown on my face and I'm like, what am I looking at? And so when I take my eye out of the um, out of this uh, out of the telescope, I'm looking at the moon and I'm like, why does it look like that? The craters look distorted. Everything about it looked weird. And so those craters, what I thought to be craters, were actually figures on the moon walking back and forth, back and forth like this. And so as I'm beginning to see these craters, what I thought to be craters on the moon, walking back and forth, figures walking back and forth, my soul started to shake. My whole being started to shake. And as my body is shaking, I'm getting pulled in to the direction of the moon. I'm getting pulled in, pulled in. So as my soul is shaking, I'm getting pulled in. Next thing you know, as far, as fast as I could be present where I was to me looking at the direction of the moon, I transported. Now, I transported into a room. It was pitch black. The, the room was pitch black. First thing I saw on my left side was a vault. It looked like a money vault uh, from a bank you know, like the, the uh, vaults and stuff that they have. It was a vault. And so there was three cells on the right of that vault. There were three cells. Now, the first cell was flung open. Like the door on that cell was literally like that, like on its side, flung open. The second cell, I don't believe it even had a door. The third cell had a door but it was a different type of door than the rest of those cells, but it was shut. And as that door is beginning to crack open, uh, mind you, the Lord is with me. He's on the right side of me. I can't see him, but I feel his presence there and his, his light covered me and surrounded me. So as I'm looking at this third cell is beginning to open and open this door dark feeling this dark out of this world presence begin to overtake me and i'm like 
Lord, don't let that door open. I don't even want to see what's behind that door. The Lord didn't allow that door to open. It stopped opening. It stopped like halfway. Now, that second cell that I mentioned is the cell that me and the Lord walked into. As we're approaching this door, as we're approaching this cell, a demon approaches. And now he's standing there by that cell. And as he's standing there by the cell, he looks at me. And he, he looks like a zombie. The demon is like literally a zombie. And I, as I'm looking at it, he looked at me. And as we're approaching, he ran away. And so now me and the Lord are traveling through this cell. This second cell led to many cells. It led to a hallway of cells. You could either go down another string of a hallway. You could go left. You could go right. There were many places to go. I, the best way I can describe it is a highway of just cells endlessly. And so as me and the Lord approached this cell, the Lord is showing me all of these different cells. And we're going one by one by one. And it comes to a point to where we're at this corner of the cell and we're walking up the steps. And as we walk up the steps, thousands, hundreds, demons are all in this room and they're walking in the direction of that cell in which we came in, which was the second cell. They're walking in that direction. So the first cell was literally a square cell. The second cell led to that highway of cells the third cell was satan's cell so in that second cell that is the direction that they're all mobbing into which is the direction that me and the lord are coming from they recognized me they recognized us and so now they're trying to circle us now they're trying to grab me and pull me in and pull me closer to them and so as they're trying to pull my arms and as they're trying to pull me, I'm terrified at this point. I'm like, I'm, I'm screaming the blood of Jesus, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. And so at this point, I'm starting to lose ground. And so as I'm going backwards and backwards at this point, there are so many that they're like on top of each other trying to grab me. A hand as I'm beginning to lose ground, a hand comes. And all you see is like, it's not even a silhouette of a hand. It is just a hand. And you just see this radiance of light behind the hand. It's like radiant. It comes and it does like this and it grabs my soul. It grabs me and it pulls me through that long highway. That long highway, my soul is being pulled up out of there. And so now the demons are trying to like grab me like this as the Lord is pulling me. The demons are trying to, they're trying to grab me. As fast as the Lord is pulling me, it feels like I'm going in slow motion because of how fast we were going. So as the Lord pulls me out of the dream, the Lord pulled me out of hell and I woke up. When I had woke up, I was sweating, I cried. I couldn't believe what I had experienced. And I repented. That is a place that you do not want to go. That's a place that you do not want to go. We're playing with our time. We're playing with God's grace. There's going to come a point. Where that grace moment will end that he will come. There's gonna come a time. What time? The Lord can come today. You can die today, unrepentant. You can die today and you can go in that place. You can go to hell. You don't wanna go there. Repent today while the Lord is giving us this grace period, repent today. The Lord gave me an interpretation of the dream because I didn't understand it. I knew that I was in hell, but I didn't understand 
what I saw in the beginning. Now, the moon represented time. It represented a season. Genesis 114 talks about the moon being for times, date, years, you know. So Genesis 114, the Lord said, that is what the moon represent, represented time. That's why the moon was even present in my dream. Now, when I had went into hell and I saw those three cells, the Lord said that those two cells that were flung open already represents how Satan is running this world, how sin is in this world, how demons are already controlling this world, that that power, that lawlessness is already in this world. It's flung open. Now, the third cell represented the devil. Now, if I forgot to mention that that gate had opened as me and the Lord walked into the second cell, the Lord said that that third door opening represented the devil's time. That he's already, he's already here. That if the devil and his system is already here, God said, how closer is he to returning? That's very close. That is extremely close. That's today close. There's no more time. Repent today. The Lord is coming. God bless you all. Shalom.